decided to start on the CT side, and they've also gone five sets of Kevlar. So no diffuse kit, no utility. This could just be a push down mid. Yeah, I like it. I respect the call they paused temporarily. This is interesting. Going straight up banana. Furia, they're going to have a punish here. Okay, Serato, he's tucked in, and the P250, very effective at the close range. Two heads gone, K Serato lives on. <gasps> he steals a third. You can't be allowing that. Now only Farley, he's overwhelmed, and Fury, a very quick start to their T-side. Oh, Stiko, this is the situation we've seen him in every he's... single round. He's the last man coming through. <laughs> Poor soul. He always has a good crack at it. But this time round, it will not be the case. And that from FPX looks strange, right? Because they stalled out there. I think they were waiting for the confirmation of the B-Rush before they pushed down, hoping to catch them off guard. Regardless, you're not getting past K Serato and his form from Vertigo has already carried across here, here. And FPX, well, that's another pissed around loss. Yeah, and I don't know how much of that was based on the fact that they think they're pushing mid and so accelerate into B. But like, you know, we see so many T-Pistols have a lot more to it. That was straight up just them saying a letter of the alphabet. Yeah, it made it look very, very easy. As, uh, if they convert this one right here, they'll be off to a flyer of a start. Eagles in banana. Two players behind him here. Madden, that's Zen and Sunny lobbing out some nades of their own. Nobody home to receive that one. I'm trying to suck that space away quickly. Ah, uh, Fury up. They've got banana control. They've already postured in boiler and holes as well, and they've pushed back the apps member of Steco. So it's a gamble st stack towards A from FPX. All players over here, two short, one in the site, one over towards the balcony, just made in here to delay with this smoke, and he's even left a bit of a gap. Hmm. Back to middle. They're coming into the stack. This is exactly what FPX wanted. And Vinny, the first, Farley, has a chance to strike. Steps towards long. And already oh. sent catching bullets. God, Fury look fierce right now. They can go anywhere they want. CT, so many steps. Maiden already feels like he's on a distinct back foot. How did he go? That's good. Lots Not enough. Damage. Yeah, they got away with this one, didn't they, Furia? They put their bodies on the line, they take a lot of dinks, but they convert the frags, and now it's just the one man to find, Maiden. The library? Bullet in the belly. That's a kill right there, and a Galil. So he's going to try and hold on to this, but K Serato doesn't want that to happen. Tucking himself into what's the B bomb site, the most obvious place for Maiden to be saving here. So this will just slowly be taken away from him. Slower approach on this second round yeah. from Furia, but I mean, still he's lots have of conviction. Bloody knife out if he's not careful. Hello. Ching. Oh no! Ching. Oh. <laughs> Yeehaw. He's done that a couple of times, hasn't he? They've uh, definitely biting back with the bullets in the body of Furia. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely going to be better reaping the benefits of an extra fifteen hundred into his bank account as well. Oof. Just as he's going for the spine, it's the shoulder. Couldn't really be a less satisfying way to lose your weapon. That one right there, not going to sting in the way that Farley made it did. If he got a kill on that uh, boiler position, yeah, maybe that spirals out of control for Fury. But either way, they should be set for the third here. Not a lot of conviction behind this FPX buy. I mean, there is so much momentum behind Fury. I know it's a buzzword, but it really is like. Once they start this ball rolling, it is so hard. Proper Indiana Jones. You know, raiding the Lost Ark, whatever I'm it was. I'm the scene. You know what I'm saying. I know exactly the scene. And once that Fury of Boulder starts rolling down the tomb, you really are not going to stop them. Here they come again. I got a fun story about that that uh, reference you were just making. Yeah, I mean, I don't know for how many. We should just explain. So, if you weren't, you know, born in, if you were born after 1995, yeah, you probably don't know what we're talking about. I think my sister's 96 and she's been forced to watch it. So okay, it's so about that. If yeah. you were born after the 2000s, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a safe, safe cutoff. Yeah. yeah, you probably have no idea what we're talking about. Um, but in one of the Indiana Jones films, there's this massive boulder. Uh, no spoilers. But uh, there's also a ride at Disneyland uh, with that boulder. Yeah. But it's not an actual real boulder. But little Chad, when uh, my parents took me to, to Disneyland, when I was, I think I was about 11 or 12, something yeah. around that. Um, and that was the first ride that they put me on. That one right there. And we waited in line for like two or three hours. You'd all know that if you've ever been to Disneyland. And I was just complaining the whole time. I was like moaning like, 
Yeah, when yep. you're, a, you're a child doing nothing for two hours, you're going to complain. I'm a big pain. And then I get on the ride and I'm petrified the entire time and I'm holding onto the bars and I keep my head down for the entire ride. And I <laughs> complained that whole time because I thought the ride was going to be rubbish and then it scared the bloody hell out of me. But then okay. after that, I love roller coasters. Yeah, they got you there. They cracked you. Yeah, they just had to scare me. So uh... I remember that. I remember, you know, like I wanted to go on the roller coaster, but there was like a part of my soul, especially as a child, where you just like, I was convinced I was falling out of that harness every single time oh, we went upside so down. I just, sure. yeah, my bum's out of the seat. Like, is this, have they actually weighed me? Do they know if I'm safe? They just had the height thing, didn't they? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Either way, we're getting into what would be a competitive round. One would hope finally whipping out that CT orb and maybe bringing in a bit of aggression. Let's see. Banana pressure is on. The flank is good. Super good. He doesn't get a single frag. Oh, no. Maiden. Mm. He's going to be kicking that. Yeah, one. I think that's really going to be souring the mood for him. And they're still going to be as well. Look at all this util. They're deterring them well. The flashes will keep them at bay. It seems like Fury want to go again. They have the smoke. They have the two mollies. This is going to be it. This is their commit. Zen needs to find a new spot. Smokes are up to enable his safe passage. Fury a double pump, triple pumping with the molly smoke after all of this? No. The CTs don't have anything left to defend with here. So real problems right now over towards this B bomb site, just the rifles. If you want, they can walk in for contact. They could even smoke CT again, get a couple of mollies back in the site, or... That's the frag. That's the frag that changes everything. The bomb called as well, top banana. Sonny can just chill his beans. Fury a plan to commit, though. And they're both so low. Like, this round could end in an instant. And it's Sonny to continue to pull teeth. Great shooting, Zen. Another headshot. And this B slow crawl from Furia falling flat on its face. Another shot. Only Junior. And he's caught one in the smoke. Sonny finished off. Won't be boosting Farley anytime soon. Timing is everything and Farley catches him. Nicely done. FPX recover. And a big thank you to Sonny with his first two frags on our third map. High impact. Felt a really good round for Furia, right? They went B, they milked out all the grenades. They were looking good just to execute in. And then Art getting caught in no man's land there by Sonny. You're right. Great impact here. In fact, he just swings out, right? That's really just an info peak, but the fact that he's actually got the uh, follow through with the kill is everything, slows it on down, allows Zen to have some traction in the round, and away we go. Guns back out, Junior onto the AWP, Farley with his. Porch boost is up. A lot can be denied there from Zen, and even got Farley underneath, so. Early presence from FPX to deny these faster mid plays. The boiler, the holes, the pit kind of pops. Set up now to defend against just that. And the cool thing about that porch boost is if you get denied vision over towards that side, the player can always see over the top of the smoke, potentially call the mid to Bs. And Zen's here. A lot of pressure on Maiden if they do try and press the issue on B. Yeah, so they can see over that. They know it's not going to be outside. They might even rotate. Back in He's standing line. in the open as well. Like, that is brave from Maiden. Look at this bravery. Oh, he heard the jump. Sticks around. Does catch them with the off angle. Goes one for one. Sunny Smoke will be disrespected. Here's them. They're crossing. They're hunting. And they find their prey. As they lock their jaws shut. Dave. This round is locked down. Yuri will be caught as the hunter, so at least they'll have a bit of a peace of mind that their weapons are likely safe. Yeah, well, uh, that's the consolation for FPX in a round like this. Unfortunately, th that rotation, they were caught off guard. Sunny between two, making lots of noise through Speedway there on the rotations. Fourth round here for Furia. And I'm hoping for more of a nuke than a vertigo. You know, that, that's, that's the tone of the game I'm looking for. But the tone of the game on Nuke was Fury are going to win this, Fury are going to win this. And then they dropped the ball. FPX have got impact rounds. Yeah. Like we had in moments of individual flair across the board from FPX. Now, if that's within the realms of possibility, they have to be able to keep the half competitive. Well, I feel like in a couple of the later rounds for Fury on Vertigo in that first half, they just started going out dry and just trying to bully with aim, and then they were punished for those things. That's so true. if they do the same thing here, that's where the comeback could be possible for FPX. And talking about those best of threes where they've been able to close on the third map, that shows that they have that resilience, that they don't feel like they're out of it. They're going to keep playing for every round. And if that continues through here and Fury give them an inch... The old cliche, they might take the game, not even I mean, a mile. I'll also say that, you know, they joke about it on Twitter, but there, are, there is truth to the to the statement that FPX have had no issue in the last few exchanges with Gambit, which has been a thorn in the side for many of the Tier 1 teams. Sure. 
Of course, Counter-Strike math does not always add up, as you'd expect. Yeah, that's why art exists. Yeah. And look at the liberties he has taken. He won't control the spray. Maiden does very well to get away. Farley as well, even catching Finny. So, losing two casualties puts him in such good stead. You really can't afford to give him a way back in. Maiden has kind of been left to his own devices here at 30 HP. I hate this. If they check him, if they react in time, if he only gets body shots, it shouldn't. Oh, he saw him. Oh, no. Oh, four by three. Four, four by, by three. three. They've walked straight past him. Oh, it might favor me. him. It will favor him. He's going to get at least one. Okay, Junior. Ah. <laughs> Realizes what may have gone down there. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Well, the door is now being closed. Zen in second mid right now has complete control of this. The B defense would really need to fall apart here. Oh, he might have called it clear. CT smoke. That's the flag onto the bomb carrier. Farley holding a tight line enables a second. Clean, clean as can be. And a dream for FPX, they needed that. Yeah, the money situation over there for Fury now in question. When we see them go for one of these janky buyers, they love getting the AKs out, having a couple of pistols around it, and they have the exact funds to do that type of a buy right here, right now. Art's purchasing on in, he's been dropped an AK. So they've gotten three AKs out of this, and uh, yeah, just that four by three moment right there. It did look a little bit awkward, but recovered nonetheless. Now three AKs, pistols alongside of it. And again, more aggression, Sunny down mid. Yo. Junior pops up his head and immediately dead, trapped in banana now as they are divided by Sunny. His positioning has completely cut them down to size. Split and pick, very hard when you're being completely separated by the AK of Sunny. Oh, he's pinned now. Hunted multiple directions, and they do find him. Furia passed their first challenging test, but at the cost of two. Everybody has guns now, at least, but even still, it's so tough to get back in this. Just that one smoke to operate with. FBX contained mid control that entire time. Now they've dropped on back. There's still a minute on the clock, and. Fury have nothing to work with, right? Sure, they had banana control, but that was so long ago. They didn't have mid, they didn't have boiler, they didn't have holes. They have to walk on out and hit a couple of shots here where they get contact. Farley's not going to let that one slip away. This is textbook orping. You're up short. You pull the trigger and you go down on the repeat. Just eco now. On pit, predictable for sure. Smokes him off. Enables crossing passage into the site, trying to isolate. Oh, oh he just caught him. Oh, Stiko caught between two. Now they're turning it into a two on two. This gets awkward. Case Serato tagged Zen, wants to finish it off, but another head shows his face. Vinny tucks now into the mini pit. Maiden, healthy, gonna have to do it all now. He's lost his teammate, and Zen with 15 HP is completely packaged out of the site. That was theirs for the taking, Chad. That felt so good. That is the same round that had Sunny aggress all the way down middle. There was no bailout to help Sunny if he got smoked off in that situation, and he got denied. They even get picked up Art for free through the smoke, so they had themselves a four on three situation. Uh, this is the push. That kill was great. Vinny here comes out with a trade. His teammate Art just dies moments before. And this one right here from Stiko, that was the that, that was the little misplay, right? Vinny sneaking through the smoke there, not expected. All Super Vinny. Super smart. That smoke. I mean, you know, in a, in a position like that, a mid-round, 2v2, you haven't had time to clear pit. Everyone is staring at it, right? Nading it. Everyone has their own approach. But by smoking it and then working towards mini pit, the only option for the, seat, the pit player is either to sit there and wait or walk through the smoke and Vinny's got an elevated angle to punish you. Really good mid-round decision-making. You can see it has got a couple of fallouts, a limited util and a MP5 in the mix for Furia. Yeah, interesting here by Art. Aggression from Farley, got for a second mid-pick. Nobody ready to greet him. A flash will be so, and that'll force him back off the line, but Caserato's found made, and that's a huge Ooh. opening right here from Furia. Deary me. That nade did no damage. And they've got top mid for free. Oh my god, Art, what are you calling? What are you doing? They're up long. He's bunny hopping to CT spawn. The bombs T round. Let's just realize the gap's over. There's already three of them in spawn. Chad, help me out. They're in so much trouble. Farley needs to knock them down here. Oh! This is awkward. Super awkward. They're already across. He knows they can one construction. What are you supposed to do? He's in so much trouble. What are you supposed to do, Farley? 
Junior's already taken down Sunny. That was supposed to be the backup. Now the bomb's on its way as well. Farley cowering in the sight. They've got deep smokes from construction already. Zen's doing anything he can. Now he's here. Oh, Fury, what is this round? They jump, they pull the peak. They do once again have the sight and they've got the round unless Zen has something to say. He silenced and Furia loudly acquire a sixth. Yeah, that was uh, very, very fast from Art there. As soon as they had established that rotation was in, they just went straight through the mid to B, bounding around. Look, the MP5, he's rocking right there. It doesn't get great once he gets into CT spawn. He's literally just making space for the team. That's Sunny's death there. And at this point, you're finally, you're already low. They knew that you were on the site. Where else are you meant to stand? You know when you feel like you hear that sudden ringing in your ears? I think at one point you told me that's because I'm losing like yeah, a... Yeah, you'll never hear that decibel of sound again. Oh, God, it just happened. That's all right. It's part of getting old. Just aging live on broadcast. Tune in to see as we slowly take another step closer to our demise. I got grim for a second, but uh, he'll no, be up Steve later. He's, yeah, he's coming in later. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese balls, both of us. All right. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, it couldn't have gone worse for them. They wanted to catch a couple of cheeky ones with pistols, but every shot connecting through the smoke and boards and now sandbags. Tastes a bit more like vertigo than it does, it does. Uh, nuke, doesn't it? It's the aftertaste. Yeah, it's, it's got that the, aftertaste. Like it's at the start, you know, I was like, oh, okay, but it doesn't have this many layers as Russia's uh, carrot cake. Yeah, thousands of taste buds. What are you trying to show us here, Rush? Just doing the, doing a cool cam. Okay, cool, man. I mean, it's like, you know, cool is such a strong word to be using. Well, that's all right. His apprentice didn't turn up to work today. So no. <laughs> he's having to do it himself. He's so used to having somebody there to help him. Yeah, Rush will do an MC impression as best he can. <laughs> he's, Hi, guys. He's having to pump himself up. Hi, guys. My name's MC. And he's uh, Nadine's little brother. Ooh. Oh, Farley, Farley, bang. Farley. And Junior meets his end. Farley provides. The retake util was nice, but this is going to spur Fury straight back towards A. They want to pump up mid here. Pop flash through the smoke would be nice. FPX are in the right place this time, Chad. These gaps they found previously are not going to be there this time. Farley's in a position to punish, and what is he doing? He's taking some serious liberties. I've heard this. Ahead of the smoke, gets his first. Now need to see Zen in the feed. He's good for one and a half. If Yuri falls, it's all on to Serato. And he's found two. Stiko defends a FPX, right place and the right result. Yeah, it looks weird with Farley putting his body on the line there, but the fact they had that smoke coming in and Zen pushing as well, in certain situations, right, oh, we've been smoked off, they have this space. It's better to fight for that territory and try and win the round right there and then, and that's exactly what FPX did to get their third. But this is going to be a slog, right? This is going to be a tall task to get back into a half like this. And if Farley can continue to hit some heads-up fights like this, well, they might be back on in. Will be a timeout from Furia talking through their options here. And they have been, you know, quick to the trigger. They've been quite fast to play these rotations after losing opening picks. And they just need to keep it calm, right? I think with a play style like Furia have, it can be easy to get caught up in the moment, try and keep that momentum, keep trying to force those fights. But they have such a huge lead right now. If in the tail end of this half, they pick up one or two more rounds, that is more than enough to secure this map. For sure. After this one, we do have uh, G2 taking on Liquid. Should be a banger of a game. Make sure you stick around for that one. Winner of this match will play the winner of that match on Sunday. So uh, there'll be a bracket later. You guys love the things to look at. Don't, don't worry about my voice. Uh, FPX. Get back into this one. Maiden only with an SMG. Oh, and look at this. Aggressive mid boot. Setting Farley up. He's already fallen. So they won't be going for that one. Yo, Yuri's got a lot of confidence in his moves right now. Takes a brief look out of Boiler. Maiden loves this position, hanging out with this weapon for the job. Pulls out as Keiserato arrives. Oh, Flash was no good there either. Still had vision for that top banana fight. When they're both back to sandbag, they might think this is clear. Arts up along. Pressure all across the map from Furia. Maiden does very well to... Oh, takes a risk though. Junior missed his shot. Still jump? Still jumping into the line of sight. And Art is behind enemy lines. Uh, Farley's his first. Now they've lost Sunny. This can be a disaster still, but the bomb disconnected from them. This gets interesting. Maiden is going to have to contest with not only the push, but Junior's positioning himself as well, cognizant that this is a possibility. Junior cannot go 
down. Oh. oh, and he looks away, and Maiden has found the most crucial frag of it all. He doesn't need to take this fight. He doesn't need to take this fight. Oh, and he's lost it early. Oh, thank God Stigo's here with the molly. He's just saved the round. There should be nothing for them to do now. Nade on push on the black smoke. Here they come. 15 seconds. They find Stiko. I don't even know if they've they got time. Sight. Like Stiko literally wins with the Molotov. Yeah, Zen's got this one in the bag every day of the week. Just has to survive right there. And you could see how awkward that was for Junior. You're right. He just had to survive, but wasn't sure where the flanks were possible. Oof, all right, got dicey for a second there with those mid to B kills. They're able to really punish that rotation. They've done it a lot here today, Furia. But the fact they walk away with those two guns carried on through, probably get the buy. But yeah, after getting this kill, he keeps jumping. I'm surprised. It's a stray bullet for the orb there, and Aiden might go down. This is what should have been the round winning kill, right? That's the bomb there. The AWP, you tuck into T spawn, you let him come. Maybe you didn't want him to save, but regardless, FPX back at it. Orb back out. And the buy from Fury are not great either. A couple deagles. Art on the AWP, so must have a maneuver in mind for that one, old Artie boy. They're all in banana, just all five following up. Like a snake, like a pack. That nade is good. already oh. art finds the first just on the walk up and maiden just in transition thought he had time they're already trying to flood the site the first shot from farley oh. is good there is a gap Ooh. and art is the one to jump through it furia looking to extend their lead here and actually win out the half with the eighth stiko and zen absolutely nothing they can say or do to impact the round it's just lost at b yeah i have to save this one and now that's the half win for fury here they're even pushing forward for more they're not done just yet i want to see if they can Stop these players in their tracks. But that was simple. Just walk out Banana. I'll give you the opening. I'll take out Farley. At that point, there's no pressure in the rotation. They're even going to deny the op getting picked up right here. So great stuff. And it looked way too simple, didn't it? When you're, in, when you're Sunny in that position, you can understand why he doesn't want to back on down, right? Because if you just give up that territory because a Molly was thrown top Banana and there's nothing behind oh, yeah. it, you're giving up a lot of free info. But this was the fight right here and just behind the flames peering on in. Feels like he had all day to hit that shot. And then even a gap. Oof. But he saw a, fla he, a flash. Saw there. A flash of Farley. It was something. All right. Oh, money for FPX. It's in question here. 2K for Sunny. Made with 2.1. Farley with 2.1. Uh, Zen and Stiga could drop something, but I, I don't know. I'd if rather have another it. go on 14, no? Yeah, and that's the problem. When you get to this kind of a scoreline in the first half, you're on the CT side, you kind of feel like, oh, we need rounds. But if they're just happy to grind out and, and walk away with five. They could even get six on the half here, conceding this one. Lost bonus into the next round. There's only going to be that uh, 1,900. 24, mind you. Sorry. So it's not going to be fantastic buys, right? It'll be M4s or Famuses with utility around it. Fury need to make sure they do not drop around like this. We're talking about, you know, keeping your foot on the gas, making sure you keep that focus. They've slowed this one down. They're not just running into random areas of the map looking for fights. Taking their time and aren't the point man. Having a look again. Both rifles smoked off. They will need to boost quickly here. Need to do it as silently as possible. At least they have the info that one's long. Smoke has achieved very little. Oh, they've got a wall bank for him. It's they actually forced Stiko off of quad and they've denied full mid info. Yuri's wall bang was enough. They need to fight though. They're just gearing up to go long and take this duel. Art's here again. This is kind of nice though. I like the three man long. Oh. Gamble. Yo, this is actually some smart calling here. Art's going to be right behind them. They're not going to expect somebody this close. Oh, are you serious? Art's going to be there behind all of them. 30 seconds. This is going to be a biff. They're not ready for this. Boost, flank though, and from behind, the gamble is ruined, and Art puts a bullet into the back of the head. Maiden wonders, what on earth am I supposed to do with this? Tries to take a gamble. If he could just knock him off the plant, perhaps. And instead, it's down, and so are FPX. Down bad. 
didn't even get a chance to fight together. That's crazy. They had the five-man beast out. They get there just in time. Art punishes with that rotation, and everybody from Furious survives. The, the thing with Art getting there at that time is they cannot just all push through the smoke and fight. They're now torn between CT spawn and the push coming in through Banana. So... A nice one there for Furia, but only just. Imagine if that execute comes into B and Art's there a couple of seconds later. Everybody in Banana could have already been engaged in some fights, might not find any traction, but either way, FPX are out with the guns. And as I mentioned, firepower not great here. MP9, three Famas, just one M4 on the deck. Couple of kits, though. Utility to try and dissuade some early Banana aggression. They've done a four-man B lean early. Nades rain out. Junior delayed. Molotov denied. And they're just setting up for A right now. Furia might even just pop on in. Yeah, simple stuff. Art, again, just loves punishing this top mid. If they can't get Banana, they'll go top mid. Don't love where the bomb is again, though, Alex. In the variety of their finishes, true. Keiseratu. Oh! Ho, ho. It's definitely going to wound oh, Maiden. Oh, look at this. And they walk up short. This is without the bomb. Like, it feels so suffocating. Good CT utility from Steeko. Farley caught as he pushes through the smoke. Yuri's found another. Just feels so matter of fact. They take A without the bomb being anywhere close. Yuri's in pit. Stiko is going to slip up eventually. They smoke him off. He's isolated as hell. Maiden Ooh. does well. Takes down Art. Stiko hunting and does deliver on the swing. Trying to stay dynamic. Moving well. Good shots. He's good for two. In a position, I don't think he even had one. Junior's quick flick does indicate he spots one. But the setup strong for the afterplant bomb in courtesy of the American. Sunny, good headshot. Only Junior now, two different angles. Hoping for one, Maiden will secure it. And that's the type of rounds Furia can't be losing right there. That looks so good for them, right? You talk about the pressure, how much indication it was it was going to be an A. It felt like they had every day of the week there to set things up. Fury, but just one at a time. Stika with the multi-kill on the front of side. Maybe it is a nuke after all. Maybe. Like, yeah. this is the type of... Oh, painting a picture around him there is Art. Not able to land that headshot. And yeah, it felt like Junior, when he took the player out of the sight, should be enough. But Yuri overpeaking, leaving Junior in a very difficult one-on-two situation with an AWP. He goes down, and these are the rounds they cannot be losing in pursuit of the next round of playoffs here. It seems so perfect, dude. Like the shape up, you've, you've, you've painted the picture perfectly. It was just the final step. The conversion eluded them. And now 10 is the best you'll be getting out of Furia. Six for FPX, they have the pistol. You know, that, that story, they're back in it, right? Like that, that, that's as far as this can go. If they, if they win this one here, FPX, they get on over that second half, they win the pistol, they get the conversion, we're back in, we're tied up, it's 9-9. Nine, nine. It wasn't looking great. It has uh, only been, what, in the last five rounds we've seen FPX start getting on the board with consecutive rounds. If they can close out the half here with another one, that would be great. Seeker operating with a shotgun. Might be playing closer up balcony or halls this time round. He's gone B. Oh, he has too. I wonder if they want to leave him in banana then. Art. 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 Come on now. You know the rules. You can't just push all the way up into banana smokes and take no nade damage. Okay, thank you. He's gone. Shut down. Maiden provides the crucial frag to put FBX in a good stead for a sixth hit. Ooh. His incendiary extinguished doesn't have the info, but top mid, no info for Stiko either. If they try and walk through his smoke, he couldn't be in a better oh, spot Stico. for this. Oh, Stiko. They're going to push him. Better spot for this. Shotgun close in the smoke. It's very viable. Sticks around, he's keeping him honest. A re-smoke from his squad mates makes things awkward. Trying to deny that mid to B. And a great hold from Zen. Plucks the head from Vinny's shoulders. Only three. Zen doesn't have to give them anything here. And he's already taken another. He's doing it all. One of the few rifles in play. Had to step up to the plate. Junior missing oh. his shots, is punished for it. And there you have it, six. FBX trying to keep that gap competitive, and they've done so. One of these teams is going home from the Pro League playoffs. Will it be Furia or if FBX pack a punch?
are all the maps in surf made by the ksf community or how how are these new maps built some are made by entirely different communities um some are made on different games some some are made for tf2 some are made for roblox some are made for source but in the end they all seem to get on every server yes there's a there's not too many maps in surf so you can just share them around how many maps would you say there are in surf at the moment um on this server there's 670 in all of surf probably thousands some maps are better than others so obviously on this server there's um somewhat of a standard of like quality so obviously if, if a map was made and it was just one ramp into a portal it wouldn't be added um but like if you made a map with multiple stages that looked good it surfed well it would, it would almost definitely get aggro over time Due to their name, they put in a little bit more of a shift towards the end and Phoenix do rise to the occasion. Will they be able to push Furia out of Pro League? Remains to be seen. It's not going to be easy on Inferno T side. Furia on the defense and with an advantage. I'm Machine, I'm bringing you the action with Chance Sponge Virtual for your first G2 Liquid brought to you by the zoo animals that is Harry and Hugo. Ready to get this third map underway. You're going to be seeing a very early CT spawn cocked. Let me try and put the word I missed oh, I know there. what you meant. CT spawn smoke cocked. And Maiden. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Jesus. launched. Straight into the stratosphere. Good flash. Very good flash. But Case Serato providing the supporting cast. This is all a fake. The bomb's going apartments. Yeah, and it's worked to an extent. Art, of course, far too wise, has watched your demos, young men. He knows what you're up to. He knows your funny business. Stiko again with impact. So bomb's going to be going down, and it does seem like FPX have given themselves a good stead for a round collection here. Farley's going to be given them presence of mind or peace of mind from the banana access point which does mean he'll eventually be able to take cursory glances at top mid. Oh, wow. They held onto that smoke for the perfect amount of time. Now it's blossomed, but what do you intend to do with it? If they don't get a kill here looking over the smoke, they should just hold on to this Kevlar. This is Furia losing a pistol round in a big way. Yeah, just save that Kevlar. Give yourself a chance to upgrade next round, Yuri. This is a big pistol round to win right here. And Is Keiserato full util? Uh, we had two players with full util. It was Art yeah. and Kay Serato. Art went HE, Flash, and Smoke. He didn't get to use anything. And Kay Serato, uh, he's done that a couple times. He's gone down to the bomb here. Uh, he didn't have Kevlar to hold on to, but uh, either way, goes on down. And let's see if Fury want to force by into this. Art was, as he repositioned, right, he had the perfect nade set to deal with that. If he was there one second earlier and smoked off apartments, he could have completely negated that, but wasn't to be known. Our X-Ray helps us with a whole lot of things. Fury will be forcing. Vinny's been gifted a Famous right here. A P250, three Deagles, Smokes. A little bit of utility of the Molotov variety in the mix here against three Mac-10s, an AK and a Galil. FPX have to convert this one. 
They want to tie things back up 9-9. This is a must. And already Vinny tickled on down to 51. So great utility damage towards top banana, as simple as you like. And that's already pushed him out of the mouth. And with banana control this early, going up against a buy like this, a banana execute could be perfect. They're just going in. Yeah. Oh, wow. Art does so well, but tracking through the smoke. It's far from over, though. And a boost late finds impact. Farley provides the overwatch to enable oh. a plant through the smoke. Another from Stiko. Junior not allowed to close the gap. It's only a FAMAS. No kit. Smoke is there. And the bomb, surely uncontestable. Oh. His crosshair is in the right place. It's just not quite finding its mark. FBX passing their second test. They definitely saved this time, Case Rider. Don't go down with the bomb here. Get that FAMAS. Get it through to the next round. Yeah, I'm not sure he's going to be allowed to. I think he might just squeak across. There he Eesh. is. Even grabbed himself a, a pistol on the way out the door. So if he drops that across to another player, more of a threatening buy for Fury in next round too. But FPX are looking good to tie things up. And that's what we said was essential. That's what they needed to do. And now it's anybody's game, right? If they convert the next round against what will be a Famous, two Deagles, and whatever else the other players decide to invest in, they're looking very, very good, FPX. Yeah, no, Farley's actually suffers from the same uh, gamer face that I do. Uh, people used to mock me at lands, and I got okay. really self-conscious about it. Because when I was concentrating, I just looked like perpetually concerned. Okay. You know, like my, my concentration face is like, I was scorned, I was like offended, I was like, it, it, everyone would often just go, you right, mate? When I'm like- You've been in an intense match of- well, I mean, Precisely, yeah, but I'm just saying I look like a bit of a weirdo when I was concentrating. I'm just saying Farley looks like he wants to file a complaint every time he's in a clutch. He does have a bit of a furrowed brow there, doesn't he? Let's get it in. Round 18 and it should and will. Uh, you, know, you know what, I'm gonna will it into existence. You this will-, will into existence. This will be a 9-9 scoreline. There wow. is nothing Fury could possibly do on this round. There is absolutely no cause for concern. Oh, look at this. You have one of those uh, dream boards. Caserato, the only one with a weapon, has been naded out, mollied out. He's actually not dead yet. Still alive, still being a pain. Still a nuisance, finally falls. The rest should come naturally. It's a nice angle from Art. The oh, he turned! Away. Yeah, nice use of utility. Gets Maiden across the smoke as well. They don't. They want to press this oh. issue, but Art's Deagle, ever present. I see now. Finney can distract. If he could just take contact, he knows his job here is to draw fire oh. for his teammate. They're so low on the cross. Good grief, those USPs giving them grief. And that bomb planter oh. Zen just catch a little more lead through the coffins. I still gonna give this one a crack. Yeah, I mean, why not? You've got Kevlar and a Deagle and a USP. A straight it's... bullet, they're back in this, right? I, I think that the time is the problem here, but Farley and Zen, they are scared for their life right now. I mean, Zen is on notice, right? Stiko's gonna swing out for the trade, but Zen's a dead man walking if the USPs push pull. Oh, just doing financial damage here. Don't wanna let them exit for free. Junior, thank you. Takes one more out of the equation, but AK and Galil, as well as the most important part, nine. Fun plus Phoenix completely level things up, and it is time for our gun rounds. Hey, this is where it gets interesting, right? How much are FPX able to do here with this T-half? Can they keep this momentum rolling right now? You're in the power position on the T-half if you can win a round like this. Really good stuff from Farley there. He's been good on the rifle, on Vertigo right. I know they didn't get a lot of rounds, but he was looking pretty handy towards that top of A site while Maiden was doing the orping. Ooh, nearly, nearly a de fully deliberate run boost for fast util banana. He's not going to take the peak off of it, but the jump is oh. there. Ooh, Farley onto his AWP and it's taken out of his hands instantaneously. Junior's gone down on the other side of things, top mid. There's a big gap to push through right here. Up mid indeed. And yeah, they are taking a lot of space. Stiko late on apps. They smoke off long though. They can slow this down, Fury. There's no rush. If Stiko wins the fight against Yuri, that could be the round. Yuri v Stiko, and this crosshair could not have been in any better position. It looks too easy. Well, now they're contained to the site. Library, and Zen suspects Arch. He's right to do so. Executes Vinny as he steps a toe out of line and baits Caserato in for a lovely Molotov surprise. It might not spread. Yeah, it does. Dreamy. Bomb down. Good plant here for FPX. 2v4? Maybe. Sonny has to be aware of the potential on short. He is. And he oh. finds it. So does Zen. Three frags so far from the fin. And he's Art won the saving. round. Just like saving. that. 
Uh, wow, what a turnaround. That was masterful from Zen, right? The fact is, they had to isolate and take fights there. So that Molly contained Keiserado to library. He knows that he has to leave Sunny. He knows that he needs to find a kill. So as the bomb's going down, they give him the space. They respect it. Sunny wins his fight. It's all over, Red Rover. What are you going to do out the AWP? There's no retake in sight. And that'll be 10. FPX grabbing the lead in map number three. There you go. Orb delivery service. Quite a nice way to do that from Zen. Bomb goes off. Everything carried across. And oh boy, Furia. They are in a world of hurt here. Yeah. Lost bonus is there. But a buy in a round like this on a map like Inferno, unless they go for like SMGs, it won't be a full purchase here. Just a half commit. Can still be threatening with this. This is the time for Art. Step on up with the ADP. Find them an entry. Be able to peel off of that. Use these smokes, Molotovs, and HEs later to soften up. Not going to be an easy round for FPX here by any means. No, sir. No, sir. And Art given a lot of responsibility into this one. So they're actually opting for second middle. FPX going to be taking early apps control up against just a CZ. I mean, it's a good weapon for the job. Yuri safe from the flames and drops his mid smoke just in time. I think they just triple mollied Boiler there to deny any, any cheeky business. It feels like an A. Feels like an A for Fury here as well. They've managed to get four players in. Make it five as Art rounds the corner. Oh, oh my goodness. This is going to be an absolute brawl on the site here. Yeah, if Maiden's trying to nutmeg this smoke, he is a sitting dark. They move in, miss shots, and already Art's the first for Furia. Second oh. as well. Maiden's giving them the bomb, and Art's just knocking them down. Anyone else? Farley's name's on his death note, too. Oh, no. Ho, <laughs> Junior. Stiko walks into the Yuri angles. That's twice we've seen the one-on-one uh, -on -one between Yuri and Stiko. The apartment jewels. Yuri's definitely done his research, knows where he needs to be. These shots, the second, he pulls this from the tiniest slither. Off. Oh. Great shooting. Yeah, All of those shots. Well, that is wild stuff there. They're just He's, trying to deny the vision. It's just stretching, stretching what the AWP is supposed to be capable of. Well, they got the double ops out now. Junior's picked that one. What did you talk about, Chad? You said, you know, maybe there's room for our heroics. Well, FPX, despite their, uh, you know, their thorough utility to avoid any funny business with the pistols, they couldn't lock down the AWP. And oh, now no. they're catching lots of nade damage both ways, though, and the flames will actually lick Sunny down. Oh, extinguished one molly, couldn't press forward, had to go back. It's an opening for Fury here, and this is a great chance for them to start to stabilize. Stiko's taken down Yuri, so that fight has been won over towards the boiler room. Now the rotations are in question here. We've got three players towards the bottom of Banana for FPX. They have to wait for this smoke to subside, and then yeah, they creep on up silently to take control. Oh, they flash on through, and now with Art, he's peering back himself. They're staying 2-2 right now, Fury. They're giving up mid to B, which means both B players will be tucking in towards the site. Low HP on Art and Keiserado. Art looks too easy for him as he snatches the man advantage once again. They want to force the issue here, though. He has full vision, but they have nades. Nice work. Zen caught on the mantle. Vinny, they know where you are, but he's got the headshots and only Stiko. Oh! <laughs> Deleted. Whew. Vinny looking stylish as he collects three. Doesn't want the AWP. No, no interest. I think he's, that AK felt a little too good. It looked too good there too, didn't it? Now, uh, uh, Fury are up to 11 off the back of this. And just see, Vinny, it, it looks like wait, a lot of people are like, oh, he's baiting Art. He's winning the round. That's what he's doing. You know, Art's taking that aggression, gets a kill. They think they've dealt with the only B defender. And Vinny tucked in so passively because he didn't make any noise, because he didn't go for a fight right there. He secures a much needed round for Fury. And now they've got the elite and FPX are back down to pistols. I think we'll get into about this similar point of the game on Nuke, Alex. And I was like, yeah, Fury, they're in control. They're looking good. They should close this one out. Not as uh, threatening for FPX in a round like this. What can they start to muster after they take this eco? Farley just going out. He's farming. Chicken kill stats. Still stats that you can pat. Yeah, someone seems to collect all that data. This one here will just be slow and steady. Rush, you go to Sunny. That's number one, Rush. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Rush. That's all right, dude. Long. I know, like, it's hard. Oh. It's it's the first day back at work in a while. Oh. You've been focusing on baking, not observing. 
I just wanted to look at Sunny. That's all. Oh. Yeah. We're trying to see how much power we have. And done. 12 to 10. All right, let's get back underway with the exciting rounds. 4.3. There's no financial dam damage done, whatever, by FPX in the last round. So starting to build a bank now, Fury. You can see their cash swelling. Junior's got almost 9K. Case Rider with 7. That'll be good for buys towards the tail end of this last map. Remember, winner stays on in the playoff bracket. The loser is out. It's a stacked bracket, man. You really are going to have to have like, uh, like two weeks of Counter-Strike where you are just... At, a, at an all-time peak. For a lot of the names here, you just have to maintain a degree of form throughout some serious competition. And it starts here for Furia. To be honest, they, they probably feel like they should be making a bit more of a convincing case at this point in time. And they can do so. This is it. A-Case up against them. Yuri. Oh. Angles are so good. He's such a threat. Nearly finds Zen on the balcony. Stiko is the one to keep him honest. They still have three players here to Furia, so it's not a problem whatsoever if they were to continue over towards A, but they start to regather over towards B. I don't B. hate this. I it's don't hate this at all. But Vinny can just jiggle on mid at any point and call it clear, right? So that right there is a big problem for FPX. As soon as he jiggles and calls mid clear, he'll be rotating back towards the B site. Flash came on through. He's just jiggled. He's called it clear. And now he might get a move on to help out Art in the back of the site. So passive. It's been here a long time. They're starting to throw B-Util. Drops out smoke and Sunny ahead of the pack is too easy for Vinny to collect. B before the smokes did... Oh, another one for Vinny. Oh, Vinny's dunked another. Good point. Hadn't caught it. Now FBX have to work with just two. And the bomb's loose. Through the smoke again. And Vinny's turning another head through the smoke. He doesn't even need vision. And Stiko, wondering where it all went wrong. They're throwing shots at him from two different weapons. He's hunted down and Art doesn't give him a chance. That's a huge round from Vinny. The thing is, with that first kill that Vinny got, as he's shooting, he got flashed. He looked at his teammates' screens. I don't know how many people at home caught that. He looked at his teammates' screen to confirm. So this kill right here, he's looked at his teammates' screen to confirm, pulls out the nade, denies the plant with the nade, and then gets another kill, right, through the smoke. He comes through and gets another kill through the smoke. The guy's an absolute menace. Look at this. He's done all this without even seeing anybody. What a round that was right there. Don't all worry, right, all worries, right. Don't worry, I got beyond lock. I wasn't even there, actually, when they started taking the site. And yeah, I mean, any team that finds themselves having to swallow the bitter pill of 14 in armor and pistols, it's sad state of affairs for FPX. Certainly not out of the realms of possibility. There's a util to be played with. There's mind games to be had. Have enough nades for a set piece on towards A, and Yuri's been caught off guard. He's just naded himself. Oh, caught in the flurry. There's a different one for the head to head. And Stiko gets away with it. He's stolen the AK. He's got armor behind it. This is the disaster now. Okay, Junior, not where you want to be. Orb in pit. Swarmed. He's going to get swarmed. Nades. Oh. oh, it's glorious. They're flooding into the site. Fury have let this one slip between their fingers. They have to save on this. They There's have no to. Way back on in. Oh, the guns that have been picked up there as well. That with Yuri was just an awkward timing. What an awkward timing that was. He tries to jump away. He still releases the nade oh. and drops at his feet. It's a massive gap and they scramble. <laughs> He's been so tight as well on, yeah. his, on his whole app's hold. We saw him previously, a bit of aggression. We've seen him passive. We've seen him step up to the plate and deliver. Oof. This time, however, ends up essentially securing a round for FPX. Yeah, that's a forced error there, right? Yeah. The pressure from Stiko, and he even gets a second. We'll give Stiko the first nade kill, which was Yuri killing himself, and he even grabs a second one coming out of apps, so... Nice stuff there. Wow. I mean, okay. without, without a round like that... Probably over. We sit here and go, oh, well, you know, the second half... They tried. ...and pulled away from them. They only had pistols. Never mind. Now Never mind. Perhaps here it is it again. Has got a horrible... Oh, look oh, at it. It's just followed him back as well. It what are you going to do? Seeker. The oh. panic jump. He's probably never died like that before. Oh, in his 10,000, 20,000 hours of Counter-Strike, he's probably never quite gone down like that. Just the right amount of damage dealt. Just the right timing on the peak as he's pulled the pin. And it opens up the sight. So Yuri, yeah, trying to clear his head. Chew that gum a little harder, perhaps. And just ready yourself for war because we are now a fully equipped FPX up against Furia. It's not going to come quite as uh, easy or erratic. Not when Art has the uh, AWP back out here, Alex. So we've already seen his highlights over towards that arch side. Let's see what he can do again. 
was instrumental for B as well, helping them out with a bit of extra info. Five seconds left on that freeze time, and away we go. This could be the swing round right here. I'm just sure Gaules' stream during that urinade would have been... Entertaining. 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 Is the word I was looking for. That's the one you're looking for. Yeah, they've gone with this three-man second mid default, FPX. They don't want to get interested in the banana early back and forth rally of utility. They're putting more pressure second mid. And for good reason. Look at this pressure coming out of Furia. They're still close. The AWP posted up. Yuri here again. He loves this. Oh, throwing Not off again. this time. Throwing off this time. Doesn't find the frag, but does get away. He'll take that, to be honest. Oh, Junior, did you maybe not catch it? Maiden's going to punish it. The AWP is gone. Maiden wants more. Straight delivers it. Finally goes down. Zen is on Vinny's list as well. And just like that at 3v3, Yuri can rock the boat further. Stiko's trading, as is Vinny. More impact from Vinny. This is his map. 60 seconds. Finally to come up clutch here on Vinferno. Oh, oh, that was oh. the info. That was the chance. What do you do? And AK's the chance. No ammo in it. Reloading in oh, the face. Farley, no. no. He goes down to oh. Vinny. That's twice on two different parts of the map. And you can see what it means to Furia. Oh, Don't dear. forget, they are only five rounds away from elimination here. Yeah. <laughs> like they are on the ropes. And he pulls them, pulls them, kicking and screaming back into A. You see how much he was unwilling to let them have the sight. A moment for Farley to drop a smoke library and plant that bomb. He could not allow it to happen. And he forces their hand. Great play. Well, Maiden did so much to get those two opening as well. But here we go. Not too much left here for FPX. They've been able to get the AWP out again. MAC-10 for Maiden. Same default towards second mid with the heavy lean. Sunny might get picked off before he gets a chance. There it is. Junior strikes. Sunny down. Only four more to find for the 15th for Furia and <gasps> tag straight through the wall there. Art. Oh. Unconfirmed damage for sure. Oh, he's in a good spot. He might catch Finney crossing back here. That's why he's double scoped. Nice counter wall bang. Oh, they're both just standing and firing. Very brave on both ends of the uh, spectrum right there. It's time for the Yuri Stiko check in. Who wins this time? Yuri finds essentially a one-way over the one-way. That works. Oh, and Zen cops an aid too. This is just falling apart for FPX. Yeah, at the seams. Junior has just a moment for the flick vision. Just as the flash pops. Maiden, clearly not done with the round just yet. And this is the smoke that Fury used to great success. Wrap into the sight on it. He'd need to hit a close one on against Kaiserato. Oh, timing doesn't favor him. And Maiden's gone too. 15, Fury up, one away from knocking FBX out of the ESL Pro League playoff run. Oof, it's petered on out here. And well, if you look at the money situation for FPX, it will just be Mac 10s and pistols. Upgrades galore uh, not on the agenda here for round number 27. The double ops of Fury is still being held on through. Thereby is great. Everybody has a molly, everybody has a smoke. They've got a bunch of HEs, flashes of their two diffuse kits are plenty. And on the other side is FPX bite on in. Two Mac 10s, utility behind it. Zen's got himself into an AK-47. Farley and Steeker, well, they might have to consider just some pistols here as well. Might be the last round of play here for FPX in their run of EPL season 13. Did well to get through their group. A little bit more to get over the line here. Furia just that one round away from putting them a step further in this gauntlet of a playoff bracket. Yeah, I just, you know, I can empathize when it's Mac 10s for your playoff dreams. It's Deagles and it is that AK on Zen. It's like a set piece potentially with four of them through second middle quite quickly here. Yuri knows how to cause a bit of trouble. Mid Molly's gonna be late. They're gonna have to wait for this. Forces Junior back. Is that all they're looking for? They've gotten the mid control if they want it. But straight back towards B and look at the rotation. Fury are heavy rotating oh, right now. They are completely biting on the bait. Look at this. Desperate to get their ducks in a row. Art realizing his mistake. Will he get back in time? Have to smoke and go. He's still going to be out of the sight. Completely. The incendiary might buy him time, but they go through it. Maiden straight through towards construction. This is a gap he can punish. She's behind him. The call's been made it. and damage is done, but Art lives on. First blood drawn. The CT oh, gets Vinny another again. through the smoke. Vinny has no smoke. 
And now FBX have no hope. Three, the bomb down. You've got to find Frag somewhere. Who's going to be the hero? Who's going to step up when it matters most? Zen perhaps throws his hat into the ring. Another chance. Spray's not good. Keserato provides. Farley's fallen all onto Sonny's MAC-10. FBX, their hopes and dreams of the playoffs. Hang in the balance. The Finn tries to stand his ground. He just can't. He's overwhelmed and Furia will convert. Tested, admittedly. FBX, they continue to keep every team honest. This time, it's Furia that rise and will advance into the next stage of competition.